This is in fact a strange twist now to the Preeti Ness case. The Vadia group is now claiming receiving threat calls by an underworld don based abroad. Ness Vadia's father and top industrialist Nusli Vadia allegedly received these threat calls from an underworld don. The Vadia group has also filed a police complaint. That's about yesterday evening. The Mumbai police is likely now to investigate the source of this threat call. So this is uh, the big uh, news which is developing at the moment. In fact, we are getting you the exclusive details of what really is are happening as far as this case now goes. The case has been transferred uh, to the crime branch. Now, Megha is with us and she's getting us those exclusive details. Megha, what more do we know about the nature of these calls and what really is the Mumbai police now doing? Well, two things. Uh, the nature of these calls, you know, uh, answering that question of yours, but clearly these were threat calls made to the office of uh, uh, Mr. Nusli Vadia. And uh, what Mumbai police is doing at this moment, of course, is uh, they're looking into this uh, case very, very closely because, you know, it is a very bizarre twist that the entire case has taken. Uh, all this while, it was a spat between two people who've been in relationship before, and it seemed, it did not seem like a very, very serious uh, uh, sort of argument where, uh, you know, physical abuse or assault has, has happened. It was, of course, a case that was uh, that has been registered with the Mumbai police, but it wasn't that 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 serious in nature. And now it has taken a turn, which has which has caught so many people by surprise. Even the Mumbai police wondering from where did this underworld don't jump into this entire case and try to take the side of Preeti Zinta. In all uh, probability, what we do understand is that Preeti side is not even aware of this development. Now that the case has been filed with the Mumbai police and it has been filed yesterday morning, all day yesterday investigations were on. We've been given to understand that in due course of time, Mumbai police will get in touch with Preeti and uh, uh, they will get in touch officially, of course, reporting this entire matter to the other side because they're all concerned parties here. And uh, uh, from Mr. Vadia's side, of course, we know that the complaint has gone uh, to the Mumbai police. Yesterday, the statement's been recorded. The complaint was then forwarded to the crime branch, to the anti-extortion cell where the investigation is currently on. The numbers from which these phone calls have been made, and there are, like I said earlier, there's not one number. They're all very uh, uh, strange numbers, you know, 14 digit, 12 digit numbers uh, that are there, and they're all being investigated into at this point in time. And the person who he claims he was on the other side of the phone, even that is being verified into. Now, you know, Megha, then obviously this is going to be a startling twist, isn't it? Because, you know, many were believing that this is just a personal spat perhaps between the both of them. And they were also looking at an out-of-court uh, reconciliation very soon. Yes, they were. But uh, like, the, like I'm saying, that all of this seems to have happened in a uh, you know, simultaneously because uh, the settlement uh, suggestions all that started emanating from both sides started emanating uh, yesterday morning. Yesterday morning we had sort of confirmed reports from both sides suggesting that they did not really uh, want to take this case forward. They were in no mood to pursue it so much because it has anyways generated a lot of negative media attention for both the sides and it seemed as if you, even the BCCI was in the loop about this one. Now, uh, it, and now these phone calls that were made on Monday evening were reported to the police yesterday morning. So I would say that both the things did happen simultaneously. We do not know what uh, what course of action will, uh, uh, you know, the pre these side, of course, will take in this because they we haven't heard from their side at all and they are not concerned right now with what is going on. And... Uh, in all probability, like I said, they're not even aware of what is going on. But uh, we, we are yet to hear from their side as to what their take is on what has happened. Because this underworld don clearly took the side of Preeti saying, threatening, that if they do not stop harassing her, then it would be bad for the Wadia group and it would be bad for them personally. 